In today's video, I'm going to show you how to free freeze things. Hi, it's Elliot here from Venom Films and welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to show you how to freeze things in HitFilm Express 2017. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to freeze stuff which is a really cool effect. I think I learned this about three or four years ago and yeah it's one of those effects that probably all the effects artists and filmmakers should do. So anyway let's get on with the tutorial. Okay so once you are in HitFilm the first thing you want to do is drag your footage on to the timeline. And then you can either click on this one here that says make composite shot or you can just right click and press make Com composite shot. Okay, so once you've made a composite shot, we now need to work out where we want what to happen in the frame. Okay, so first of all, we need to want work out where I walk on. So I'm going to go to the bit where I walk on. So there we go. Cut that short and find all that and just press C and cut that into one layer and then we can actually rename this if we want, I don't know, frozen. Oh. So this is going to be the frozen layer. And on this bottom one we know is just going to be the talking layer. So on this bottom one we're just going to find the first frame where we walk on. So something about there. You don't want too long a gap, so about that, and then I'm going to walk off. So now we have all our two clips sorted out, we are now going to edit them. So the first clip, the first thing we want to going to do is just have this one where I'm walking on, and as you can see I freeze and then I drop down. Now what I want to do is go through this and find a frame which I think looks good, so I'm going to have it around that frame there. So to turn that into a one still frame, zoom in on the timeline, press C to go back into this clipping, chopping, slicing tool, slice it, control and the arrow keys to move on a frame, and then slice it again. So now we have a frame. Now we're going to go down one to this kind of time stretch tool, and stretch the time out on this to as long as you want. And I'll just have one solid frame. Okay, so now I'm walking on, freezing, and then that's the frozen frame. Okay, so I'm just gonna place that there. So now what I want to do is add a mask to mask this frozen frame. Now to add a mask, we're just gonna click on this pen, make sure we have the layer selected, then click on this pen tool. So I'm just gonna go to the first frame in that. Click on the pen tool, and I'm going to draw a mask. Now I can scroll to zoom in, and I'm just gonna draw a quick mask. Now this mask can be quite rough, as we're just gonna go around the outside of the, the person. So we just go around, around the head, up, and then also at the top, we can just quickly cut around like that. And now we have this, which is kind of like the blank and then me. Okay, so now we have this. What we want to do is drag our bottom on, which is the background, onto it like that. Now we want this to start the frame that this one finishes. So now we have that, the freeze. And then you can now hopefully see me walking on and then saying my bit, but I think I need to make this actually a bit longer. So, um, there we go, there's me saying my bit. And now we're gonna just find the point where I walk out by pulling this across. And, I'm gonna find the frame where I walk out. There. I'm going to cut that there, and I'm going to cut that there. Now on this layer, we're going to find the frame where I start to drop down with the arrow key, so about that frame, I'm going to put that there. Now we have something that looks like this. 
So you can see I'm walking on, I freeze, and then I walk on, and then I walk off. Now you see the moment it just looks a bit boring as not really much is happening. So one of the first things we want to do is add a little feather to this mask. As you can see if we just zoom in on this line here, you can just see it changes in brightness as the sun must have moved a bit. So to add a fe feather we're just going to go on the layer that has the mask. Now as I'm quite close to the mask on the right hand side, I'm going to make sure that the mask is just out. But not too much, otherwise we'll have it going into the other shot of me. Now I'm going to change the feather strength to something that we are happy with, like that. And now hopefully when it cuts, it doesn't look as obvious. Okay, so now we've got that, I'm going to add a colour grade onto this. I'm just going to a grade and making a colour grade that looks kind of kind of, I don't know, believable and not one that's going to be too dramatic, one that what we want, well it depends what film you're doing, but what I'm going to do is just one that's going to make it look just a bit more normal, so I'm just going to go to a colour correction, first of all I'm going to add a curves adjustment and maybe make the preset curve, and now what this curve does is adds contrast, now so if we pull this up, as you can see it's brighter, and down it goes darker like so. So it's good. And you only want to do this in an S shape. So I'm gonna pull that. So something that we like. And I'm also going to add a auto colour. Now what this does is kind of makes it look realistic. Now this might not always be amazing, so you can change the blend with the original, which is basically the opacity to so something that I am happy with. So now we have this. So okay, so once we've done that, now I'm going to add a sound effect. Now the sound effect I'm going to be using is one I have found actually online, and I'll leave a link to the one I used in the description. Okay, so once I have found this effect, I'm just going to place this on. Now the first one I'm going to want is to find the I freeze, and I'm going to play it then. So, I'm just going to position it so I think it looks good. Okay, so I think I found a frame which I like. I'm going to duplicate that. I'm just going to drag it to the end now and then find what it looks like on the end. Okay, so now I have something like and I'm just going to export it out. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to free freeze things. So there we go, we have done the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment down below all the videos you want to see. Subscribe for more videos like this. And like as well, because it really helps me out and it's free. So yeah, anyway, until next time, bye.